millions of teachers. And in his own quiet way, He was broadening the societal discussion and saying, look, this is a social plague, not just here throughout the world, it's ghastly child sex trafficking that's going on everywhere. Uh, that was important to underscore there uh, today uh, as well. Uh, I thought he seemed remarkably animated uh, throughout the whole day. Uh, yeah. Uh, this yeah. has been a tough patch. we got to remember, he was in Cuba for three days, right. three or four days before coming here. Uh, I had hoped, I said at the beginning of our coverage, that this was going to be a learning experience mm -hmm. for him, mm -hmm. as well as a teaching experience, and that I hoped he would be encouraged by the vitality of Catholic life that he met in this country. And that would, that has been on display in a magnificent way right. the whole time. He was ahead of schedule all day, in fact, moving along quite briskly this morning, about 15 to 20 minutes uh, ahead of schedule. We will watch as he now makes his way to the airport, and we expect him around 8 p.m. to be departing Eastern Time. MSNBC's Casey Hunt has been following the Pope along the way, too. He traveled by you, I don't know how many times in the last six days, but certainly today on his way to the Papal Mass. And along the way are a lot of smiling parishioners in the streets, supporters of the Pope. Casey? Richard, good evening. Well, there's so much excitement building for so long over the course of today. Many people arriving as early as 6 a.m.